Hey guys, today I'm going to cook a beef chuck roast in the slow cooker. So let's get cracking. This is going to be super easy. I have about a four pound beef chuck roast here. I know that seems big for just me, but my daughter and son-in-law and grandson live next door, so I'm going to give them some. Um, I seasoned this last night with some kosher salt and Johnny's seasoned pepper on both sides and uh, just put it in the fridge. So I just pulled it out. I'm just going to put this in a dry slow cooker that just fits in there and I'm uh, just going to put the lid on and cook it on low. If I can find low. Okay. There we go. We'll be back later on when it's tender. It's been seven hours and 20 minutes, so let's take a look here. Look at all that liquid. I put this in a dry crock pot, and that's how much liquid that made. Um, that, it's cooked, but it's still not very tender. When it's good and done and the tender, the fork should just slide in there real easy, and it's, it's pretty solid. It's probably going to take another hour or two, I'd say. So just get the lid on there and let it go a while longer. This cooked for 10 hours on low, and I just shut it off about 45 minutes ago to let it start cooling down a little bit. And now you can see it's nice and tender. The fork goes in real easy. So, <laughs> I don't know if I'll be able to even get it out of there without it falling apart or not, but we shall see. And see all the juice in there now? It made its own juice. All that juice it made, oops, we lost half of it. <laughs> That is nice and tender now. That's just how you want it. At least that's how I wanted it. All right, let's see how this looks. Super tender. This might be the most tender chuck roast that I've ever cooked. It was because I was patient and just let it cook a long time. It took 10 hours to get that tender. I think I usually pull them out after like eight or so. I start getting hungry and impatient, but that looks really good. Turned out really good. Super tender, really good flavor. And that's about as easy as you can get for cooking a chuck roast. It's time for Annie the taste test dog to see what she thinks. Wanna try some Annie? There you go. <laughs> she didn't even have to chew that. Well that turned out good and that's real easy to do. Almost anybody can do that. Just throw it in there and go about your day. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you guys next time. I made myself a nice little sandwich here. I had a bake at home baguette, melted some Havarti cheese on there, got some of the juice out of the pot to dip it in. And this ought to be good. See you guys. <laughs>